Hi friends, welcome to my government track channel and uh, today we are going to discuss some important MCQs on DC generator. So this is part one of that. So I will upload the next part soon. So this will be very useful for your Mahadiscom J exam and uh, I have uploaded some uh, videos on DC motor also and some switch gear and protection also. So if you didn't uh, if you haven't watched these videos yet then you can uh, watch them first and after that uh, you can watch this video. So we'll start without wasting much time with the first question of the DC generator part 1. So the first question is laminations of core are generally made up of what? So the correct answer is silicon steel. Uh, lamination of a core are generally made up of silicon steel. Option C is the right answer. Next question, question number two. Which of the following could be lamina approximately the thickness of the laminations of a DC machine? So 0.5 meter will be the thickness of laminations of a DC machine. The correct answer is option C. 0.5 meter. Question number three. The armature of a DC generator is laminated to what? So the armature of a DC generator is laminated to reduce the ED current losses. The correct answer is option D to reduce the ED current loss. Next question. The resistance of armature winding depends on what? What are the factors on which the resistance of armature winding depends? So uh, the length of conductor, the first one is the length of conductor. The second is cross-sectional area of the conductor. Third is the number of conductors. So the correct answer is option D all of the above so on on these factors the resistance of armature winding depends next question question number fifth the field coil of a DC generator are usually made up of what so the field coil of a DC generator are usually made up of copper okay the correct answer is option D. next question question number six the commutator segments are connected to the armature conductors by means of what so the con con commutator segments are connected to the armature conductors by means of a copper lux correct answer is option a next question question number seven in a commutator so the correct answer is option c in commutator mica is harder than a copper okay so the correct answer is option c mica is harder than a copper in a commutator next question question number eight in a DC generator, the pole shoes are fastened to the pole core by what? So the DC generator, the pole shoes are fastened to the pole core by countersunk screw. Okay, the correct answer is option B. Next question number nine. According to the Fleming's right hand rule, for finding the direction of the induced EMF, when the middle finger points in the direction of induced EMF, forefinger will point in the direction of what? So the correct answer is option B. The four fingers will point in the direction of line of force. Okay, option B is the right answer. Next question. Question number 10. Fleming's right hand rule regarding the direction of induced EMF correlates to what? So it correlates to the magnetic flux, direction of motion and the direction of EMF induced. The correct answer is option B. Next, question number 11. While applying the Fleming's right hand rule, to and the direction of induced EMF, the thumb point towards what? So the thumb points toward the direction of motion of a conductor if forefinger points along the line of flux. Okay, the correct answer is option D. The thumb points point towards the direction of motion of a conductor if the forefingers point along with the along the line of flux. Next question, question number twelve. The bearings used to support the rotor shafts are generally what? type of bearing so that bearings is known as a ball bearing so we used ball bearings to support the rotor shaft next question question number 13 in a DC generator the cause of rapid brush wear may be may be because of what so in a DC generator the cause of rapid brush wear because of severe sparking rough commutator surface and imperfect contact so the correct answer is any of the above the option D is the right answer Question number 14. In a lap winding, the number of brushes is always what? So in a lap winding, the number of brushes is same as the number of poles. B will be your right answer. Question number 15. For a DC generator, when the number of poles and the number of armature conductors is fixed, then which winding will give the higher EMF? So the correct answer is option B, wave winding. So wave winding will give, give you the higher EMF. 
okay when the number of poles and the number of armature conductor is fixed question number 16 in a four pole dc machine so what which of the following options is correct in a four pole dc machine alternate poles are north and south okay the b will be your right answer question number 17 copper brushes in a dc machine are used to what so copper brushes in a dc machines are used where the low voltage and high currents are involved okay where low voltage and high currents are involved in that place copper brushes in a dc machines are used option a will be your right answer question number 18 a separately excited generator as compared to a self excited generator has what so it has a member to better voltage control it is a more stable it has exciting current independent of load current so the correct answer is all of the above features it follows all of the above features the d will be your right answer question number 19 in case of a dc machines mechanical losses are primarily function of what so in case of dc machine mechanical losses are primary function of speed c c will be your right answer question number 20 Iron losses in a DC machines are independent of variations in what? So the iron losses in a DC machines are independent of a variation in load. Option B is the right answer. Okay. Coming to next question. Question number 21. In a DC generator, current to the external circuit from the armature is given through what? So in a DC generator, current to the external circuit from armature is given through a commutator. A is the right answer. Question number 22 Brushes of a DC machines are made up of what? Okay, question number 22 What the brushes of a DC machines are made up of what? So the options are carbon, soft copper, hard copper, all of the above. So the answer is carbon. So brushes of a DC machines are made up of carbon. Question number 23 If B is the flux density, i is the length of the l is the length of the conductor and v is the velocity of the conductor then induced emf is given by so what is the formula for the induced emf so in that case the formula is blv where b is the what b is the flux density l is the length of conductor and v is the velocity of the conductor okay और गाइस मैंने डीसी मोटर के भी कुछ सिक्स पार्ट्स कवर किए हैं उनमें अप्रोक्सीमेटली 120 एमसीक्यूज उसमें मैंने कवर किए हैं अगर वो वीडियो आपने वो वीडियोस आपने नहीं देखा होगा तो प्लीज वो जरूर देखिएगा उन सब वीडियोस की लिंक मैं इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे रहा हूं <coughs> तो उसमें डीसी मोटर स्विच गियर एंड प्रोटेक्शंस एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम के भी मैंने दो पार्ट कवर किए हैं तो वो सब कुछ आपको यूजफुल रहेंगे महा डिस्कॉम जे के एग्जाम के लिए ठीक है कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इन केस ऑफ अ फोर पोल डीसी जनरेटर प्रोवाइडेड विद टू लेयर लैप वाइंडिंग विथ सिक्सटीन कॉइल्स द पोल पिच विल बी वॉट सो द आस्किंग द पोल पिच ओके सो इसका आंसर करेक्ट करेक्ट आंसर है ऑप्शन बी एट सो आप ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करो और मुझे कमेंट बॉक्स में बताओ कि आपका भी आंसर सेम आया है कि नहीं ओके okay? नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी the material of the material of a commutator brushes is generally what so the material of a commutator brushes are generally made up of carbon okay so they use carbon to uh, prepare the commutator brushes okay option d is the right answer question number 26 the insulating material used between the commutator segment is normally what option a graphite option b paper option c mica option d insulating varnish so the correct answer for this is mica so mica used between the commutator segment normally okay question number 27 in a dc generators the brushes on commutator remain in contact with conductors so which what so which lie under the interpol region the correct answer is option c so in the in the DC generator, the brushes on a commutator remain in the contact with the conductors which lie under the interpol region. Okay, option C is the right answer. Next, question number twenty-eight. What it says if brushes of a DC generator are moved in order to bring these brushes in a magnetic neutral axis, 
there will be a what so there will be a cross magnetization as well as a demagnetizing so if brushes of a dc generator are moved in order to bring these brushes in a magnetic neutral axis then there will be a cross magnetization happens as well as demagnetizing is also there so the correct answer is option c question number 30 armature reaction of a unsaturated dc machine is what so the armature reaction of an unsaturated dc machine option a cross magnetizing option b demagnetizing uh, option b demagnetizing option c magnetizing option d none of the above the correct answer is cross magnetizing just now we say uh, armature reaction of an unsaturated dc machine is a cross magnetizing okay option a will be your right answer so these are the 30 questions which i have covered in the part 1 so i will upload the part 2 soon so in that also i will cover most important uh, questions from this dc generator and uh, will cover all the topics which are uh, which are related to the mahadiscom je exam so don't worry about that and uh, keep watching this videos and uh, just press your bell icon so that you will get latest notification and updates from my side so if you like this video then uh, uh, please like this and share with your friends who all are preparing for this uh, mahadiscom uh, je exam so thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my government tech channel thank you so much